Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh, some tips of how to paint up against a line. So I'm gonna draw a line on my piece of wood here. And this is kind of gonna represent a corner. Um, you could always tape along a line like this, and especially if you're, say, you're doing a bunch of stripes, you might want the control that painter's tape gives you, and that's completely fine. Um, but it's really good practice to know that you can cut in, trim, and corners when you are painting a wall. So I'm gonna dip into my, my paint here, and I always recommend just dipping your bristles in, it gets you a nice amount of paint, so you don't have to constantly be re-dipping. You don't need to wipe it off on the side, just let it kind of shake out those extra drips. Okay, and so when we're talking about cutting in and we're talking about painting along a straight line, I've got my pencil line marked here that's really clear, and you want to start by pushing paint towards it. And I think of this as like flirting with the line, but you're not quite making your way all the way to it until your second pass. So I'm using the angle of my brush really specifically. I'm catching this extra paint that collects along this line. And here, now I've got enough on my bristles that I can control it and pull it all the way across. I'm gonna come in here and grab some of that. And you can let the bristles really do the work. And when you are painting a corner or near uh, the trim or along the ceiling, you want to let gravity do the work for you as well. When you're painting up against a wall, there's nothing wrong with that. So I've got a nice straight line here. And we finish off this side. And I'm really letting my angled bristles do the work. I'm pushing up the saturation of my paint towards this line on the first pass. Then I'm using my bristles to just follow and cover this pencil line on the second one. And that's how you cut in. It can save you a lot of time and a lot of tape.